Hi everyone, my name is Mireya. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you Halloween hacks, life hacks. Many of these hacks were inspired on Pinterest and some of their hacks are hacks that I came up with in the last minute. For example, this finger. Do you guys have any idea what this is? You have to stay tuned and watch this video to learn what this, what this is here. Okay guys, for this hack number one, you will be needing shaving cream, baking soda, Elmer's glue, contact solution and the list of all the ingredients that I used will be listed down below. For this awesome hack, you're going to be needing air drying clay, a mascara that you have. What you're going to do is you're going to grab the clay and what I did is I divided it into two parts. That way the clay wouldn't dry as one whole piece. I started shaping the finger shape. Then with a toothpick, I, straw, I started drawing in the lines. After that, you're going to let it air dry. Once it's air dry, you can paint it with acrylic paint or nail polish. What I did is I also painted the nail and then I added red nail polish just to make it that effect of blood-like. Then I also added a bit of gray and that is all guys. For this third hack, I wanted to share a different slime recipes with you guys just in case you didn't have one of the products at home. You can try it with a different product. I wanted to make a glittery slime and then I added some insects. I purchased these insects at the dollar store and look at how fun this slime is. For this fourth hack, you're going to be taking an orange, you're going to be using a knife and be very, very careful with this. Take out the orange inside, then you're going to grab a marker and draw a pumpkin face, shape it or cut it out with a knife as well, but be very careful with this because you don't want to cut your fingers. That would be bloody for Halloween. <laughs> Once you take everything out, make sure you dry it with a napkin, add your candies. I added some M&Ms and this is how it turned out. For this other hack, I wanted to share with you guys an orange slime and to do that you're going to be adding food coloring red and the color yellow just to make that orange consistency. And that's pretty much it guys, follow the instructions and you'll be getting this orange pumpkin slime. For the sixth hack, something very interesting. I thought it wasn't going to work, but it actually did. Put some tape where your light is on your phone, add some blue with the marker, and then add some purple, and you would get this awesome black light. I don't think this would be a hack video, a fine. I don't think this would be a final hack video if I didn't share with you guys another blood recipe. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some water, some dish soap, some corn syrup, red food coloring, and you can keep it as red as you'd like depending on the consistency, and this is the way it turns out. I wanted to share with you guys that it's possible to use Elmer's glue to do a wound at home. Just in case if you don't have liquid latex, this is just another way of doing a wound at home. What you're going to do is you're going to take the toilet paper and then add as much glue as you'd like. Then you can also put some foundation on once it's dried. Then add your fake blood. And I added two different red fake bloods here and I will leave you in the description box below other fake blood recipes.
for hack number nine, I also wanted to share with you guys that it's possible that if you don't have liquid latex, you can use Elmer's glue. And if you don't have red Halloween blood, you can use red lipstick. And if you don't have white Halloween makeup, you can use a black eyeliner. For the final hack, I wanted to share with you guys how to do a DIY skeleton bracelet. And to do that, you're gonna trace your hand, then you're gonna draw in your skeleton. You can look at some images online, but I just hand drew mine, so it's not that perfect. Then once you have finished your drawing, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your hot glue and fill in with some glue. Once your hot glue has dried, you can paint it with some black acrylic, acrylic paint or a black nail polish. I left some ends bigger on some of the fingers just so I can wrap it around and create a ring. So once you are done with everything, you can add some hot glue gun and then glue it together to make that ring and that way it can stay in your hand once you put it on. I also made a very small skeleton for a hair piece. What I did is I glued in a bobby pin, but that's just an optional step. I painted it with white acrylic paint and make sure that you glue it well the first time because mine didn't glue as well the first time on the bobby pin. 